That's nicely timed off the back foot. And Bridget Patterson will get the innings underway with a boundary that runs away for four. That's nicely placed into the gap as well. And really well timed by Debro. That'll be four. As that one's edged over the corner, and that'll go for four. Not in control of that shot was Emma Debro, but gets the result nonetheless. But... Edge and caught. Nicely taken by Edgar. That slip and Debro's promising start comes to an end with a nice catch at slip. Again, tried to force it off the back foot through that point region. Patterson. Just will get a, a run or two, you would think, for that point region. That may even run away to the boundary, and it does. Yeah. Getting right over the top of that one, Patterson. Lovely shot. Julia waits, and this time she'll pick up a boundary. You would think that will run down the hill, and there's a gap between. So they'll be bowling in tandem, I'm sure, at some stage, but that one's short. And that'll roll away for a four. And it's probably wasn't the worst delivery from Edgar. She did ask the question. A stacked... Offside field, and that's going to be a boundary taken off the legs there of Dooley. Oh, that's a better shot. And that Dooley's going one. to pick up a boundary here, just fiercely pulled away through square leg. Edka, this time oh. it brought the fielder in at point into the game just for a moment. Sheldon Cooper, Cleary again for the Lily Marsh end. Now that's pulled away high and handsome. One bounce into the square leg. That they take out of it that's good. Lovely shot from Patterson. She takes the, the four runs through cover, just too much width from Cleary. Patterson, who's on strike, dark keeping up to the stumps. Shot. And that's a forcefully played shot through the offside there by Patterson. And quickly. So the more ball she's faced, the better for South Australia. Here's Mills, a quicker delivery. And off the back foot, punch through point, And this will go for four. That's really nicely struck on the drive, and that finds the gap for four. Powerful drive from Josie Dooley. Free weight there on the edge of the river, and that's a lovely reverse sweep from Patterson. No chance of stopping that. Four runs. As she hits that in the air, but that'll clear mid on, and that'll be a couple of bounces to the rope for four. So taking on Mills here and succeeding. But if she can bowl the way she's bowled her first five as Edge flies away, no slip in play, and that'll go for four. Yep, unlucky. Chance in the covers, it'll go for four. Afternoon to you, DC. That flew off the bat there of Patterson, and certainly in the game. This time, Patterson advances with real aggression, and she's managed to punch through. Here's a chance for. Some runs to be scored through that backward point position. Patterson has been really strong through that area all day, and she picks up another boundary. Going to be a tough day for the bowlers. Beautiful looking wicket. So Brickcliffe this time wasn't a bad ball again. She asked the question, but Patterson was up to the task and just stroked that quite magnificently. Cooper wide. Through. And Patterson will pick up a boundary because this outfield here at the Wacker, to start the obvious, is, a, is just a screamer. Once it gets past the... Short this time from Cooper. There's some protection out there on the boundary, but it's not going to matter. It splits the two. Incredible stuff. Switch hit this time from Patterson. She'll pick up a boundary. That is a feature of the modern game and the modern batter. Sweeps around the corner. There is a fielder at deep backward square. Isn't going to get there, and that's 100 for Bridget Patterson. Her first of this WNCL season, sixth of her WNCL career. As that's hit over the top of mid-off. Patterson gets enough on it. It plugs in the ground a little bit. It will go for four. A couple from her. Shot. That's beautifully swept again, this time by Dooley. That's yeah, Paparo, Carmichael and Day. Shot. That's beautifully swept again, powerfully by Dooley. No chance for Lisa Griffith on the boundary. That is four runs. Earlier. That's... Brilliantly hit down the ground by Patterson, and that goes through for four. A lot of work for Wiley to do on the boundary, who did well to get that. Reverse swept for four. Thank you. Bridget Patterson saw the gap open up, hits it for four, and that is the 200 partnership. Batting with it's tough. 
Speaking of intent, that's hit down the ground hard, cleared the front leg and... Oh, that's heaved over mid-wicket. Huge shot from Patterson. One bounce, four. Again down the leg side and worked around the corner with ease for four by Patterson. End of the over. He is in a WNCL game. Again, just heaving that over mid-wicket. One bounce, four. Patterson just darts away, went to the offside and then to the leg side and has just smashed it through the covers for four. And when you're in some nick, it's been brutal at times. It's just smack. You could just hear it in the effects, might, and that is pumped around the wicket. Has Brickcliffe, this is an opportunity for a simple catch in the outer. And Western Australia, through the calm hands of Amy Edgar, it hasn't been her day with the ball, but she looked extremely comfortable under that sky catch. Peschel, this time, this should be a catch. Wiley comes in. Nice catch. And completes the catch, and it was good communication there from Paparo too. Falconer bowled. Good ball there from Mills. It was well up. Falconer gave some room to the leg side, and it clattered. Webb back on strike. Mills throws it up naturally. I don't think this is going to carry. It is. In the end, it does. In this position can be sometimes a little bit difficult to see that. That might have been Ed Cavett's taken another catch down the ground. I think that's it. 132 balls. Let's see what she can do in this last ball. A big heave over mid-wicket potentially. And it was an attempt at a heave. They'll look for two potentially. Griffiths was quickly in from that square leg boundary. Nice bit of fielding. Done well today out there on the rope. They had plenty of it. And that's the end of the innings. Unfortunately, they tried to put the hitters in. Oh, flies through. way off the edge and gets past Gully. Got a hand to it there in the gully region, did Patterson, but it'll still go for four. Oh, oh that one again. We've seen an edge go between keeper and first slip. So already an issue of Mishungwe creating opportunities. Goes for four, but... Shot. Nice late cut from Dark has hit that perfectly for four between backward point and gully. Shot. It's very nicely played by Dark. Time to perfection. No chance of catching up to that. Four runs. One of these batters in the top three or four are going to have to get 100 for them to be a chance. As it's a lovely shot from Dark, punching the gap between mid-wicket and mid-on. That's going to help nicely, but yeah, you, shot. You, you're 100% right. You... I can assure you at cricket.com.au oh. viewers, and that's a, a drop catch. That's the scoop there from Paparo, and Dooley, to my knowledge, has got a hand on that and put it down. And that's a cracking shot there from Paparo. It won't go for six. Just keep chopping it up. Yeah, I thought it was a bold move. This time Paparo just clips it delightfully off the toes. Be drowned out. Foghorn Leghorn over Fog, here. Foghorn Leghorn. <laughs> this is a lofted shot down the ground by Dark. And it was handsomely hit. Oh, nicely guided by Matty Dark. That might have the legs to get to the boundary. Oh, the ramp. Set up for the ramp and went the reverse ramp and it's got enough pace on it to get to the boundary. Where that shot's going. A quicker delivery and again dark across the line and just getting a bit of bat on it and enough bat and it goes down to that fine leg boundary for four. Short ball. And that's again worked into that. That might have been going all the way. That has. That's just beautifully guided, just off the outside edge. That's just class. Just watching, that's just a demonstration for all the youngsters out there. Barsby uh, sporting the red cap, which I absolutely love. And it's, there's an appeal for court behind. There we go. And Barsby has brought about the dismissal. That she's taking the game on. And this time she lofts the ball straight back over. And that's beautifully struck by Dark. Two bounces for. Hesitation, as you said, Jordan. And that one's oh. one further down the leg side. And that's a beautiful placement of the shot from Matty Dark. Another boundary. A reverse sweep oh. straight to short third. Lisa Griffith has tried the innovation. The boundary is clear out there. 
is, especially given that first ball was edged. I'm guessing they don't want to concede a boundary off an edge through that area. And that's beautifully played. It's right into the gap, just past backward point. It might have enough to go to the boundary. Hit the right areas. And that is clubbed, and that'll be four. Gets through the infield. As we said, there's no protection straight, and Matty Dark is seeing it like a beach ball at the moment. Eight overs to go. That's hit straight to mid-wicket. Penner takes the catch, and Carmichael has to go. So we'll find out what the WA batting strategy is. Full and Dark is wrapped on the pad. Hey, oh, it's Boulder. It's taken the stumps. Wellington went up for the LBW appeal, and it's bold, Matty Dark. So an incredible innings. Bad pain. Get up. And that goes over the mid-wicket fielder, and that'll run away for four. Nicely struck by Ash Day. Woolly woofters and big drag crosses. Gemma Barsby comes back in. Day steps away, and Barsby followed her into the leg side. Day's hit it pretty well into the gap. A bit of hesitation in the outfield, and it's four. Huge. A boundary off the first ball. We've talked about it so often. Day goes the reverse sweep, and he's bowled. Shungwe, oh, it's short. It's hit straight to the deep field. Is underneath it, and has taken it. Oh, huge wicket, and a bit of luck goes South Australia's way as Ash Day. Anything from Barsby. Floated up. Oh, Peschel. Oh, she's oh. going to be stumped. Oh, oh Tanil Peschel just lost where she was for a moment. Fractionally, so it stays away from the rope. Oh, a bit sliced by Edgar. Will it make it over the field? It won't. So another wicket for South Australia. That was better. And she's got a fine edge to that one, and we'll have to go. This has been a wonderful final over by Sammy Betts. So keep the ball below the waist. Does both. It's nicely clipped away by Sheldon <laughs> Cooper. It will be a boundary. But it's all in vain for Western Australia as South Australia have hung on in an epic at the Wacker. We've had two in three days.